I treat everybody equal unless you treat me bad or you give me a reason that I don't like you and that's it I just don't like you I don't hate anybody right, right. it's like I like them or I don't like them I, yeah. you know it's like it doesn't matter what they, uh, color what race what sex they are absolutely it, every time it blows my own perceptions I was in a YMCA around the time of the um, the bombing I was doing photography for somebody a girl wanted a picture mm -hmm. I had to, re to sign a release form they gave me a piece of paper at the front desk and then walked away and I couldn't find a pencil and I started murmuring to myself you know a pen a pen my kingdom for a pen and mm -hmm. some guy oh I've got a pen here sir and he handed it to me over my shoulder mm -hmm. and I picked it up and then I turned around and looked at him and I was expecting some suit with a tie or a nice you know younger looking guy and it was like a seven foot four black guy with tattoos all over it was like that was the least amount of I would think of at all and like I prejudged you as a really nice white guy and you're a really nice black guy it doesn't yeah, matter yeah yeah it doesn't yeah. matter whatsoever yeah, yeah. you know that's a great ability to be able to analyze yourself and to see oh, where I we because we know all I think we all do I, I'm sure we all make those kind of slips and, prejudgments and or assumptions is yeah colored by is Toronto, I uh, was just recently in Esquire magazine, the second safest city in the world. Is that right? We, yeah, in the world. I'm take, glad to hear that. Yeah. yeah, and we take that for granted here yeah, so yeah. much so. I ride around or come walk around in this park at 3 in the morning, it's 4 in the morning. Yeah, Anytime, yeah. and I have no fear of anything at all. It's funny you said that because I said almost the identical same words to my wife about a week ago. Like she was talking about the increasing violence and stuff because unfortunately there is, you know. Uh, and for those of us who at least do follow the news or CP24, like guaranteed every day there is a stabbing somewhere like in the greater Toronto area yeah, if not right a now shooting. A stabbing. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it, it's still a very small number. So what I told my wife, I gave almost the identical same example. I said, at the end of the day, I can still walk in my area at 2 a.m. at night yeah. and I honestly don't have any fear that anyone's going to attack me. No, you gotta be self-aware. Yeah, you, you have know? to be self-aware, exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah. always looking around anyways all yeah. the time. No, I told her, I said, like, definitely I would not recommend that my wife go out no, alone walking no, at 2 a.m. But if for some Mail, reason she yeah. had to, yeah. I'm fairly certain that there's no harassment, there's nothing, yeah. Violence begat violence. If you know a person that's violent or you're violent yourself, violence will be begat upon you. You know, yeah. if you're a thief, you hang around with thieves. If you're a fighter, you hang around with fighters. If you're not, you don't see them. I have never seen anybody mugged. I have never been mugged or attempted to. I've been followed, yeah. you know, but I knew I was being followed and I just walk into a store or something like yeah, that. Yeah. You know? And they go away and you tell them and they go, oh yeah, something like that. It's but, true, yeah. You know, I mean, I, I make the disclaimer that of course there are innocent people that sometimes do sure, uh, get sure. hurt, uh, exactly. targeted, yeah. or even crossfire or whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, general rule, general rule, Generally. if you yourself are not exactly. involved in a gang or in drugs, yeah. uh, and... Um, it's not drugs anymore, it's cannabis. Cannabis, <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, then, yeah, it's it's a fairly, you know, safe it's city. It's really yeah, safe yeah. city. It's like, so we take it for granted so much so here, yeah. you know. And what was the other? Queen Street West, according to Vogue magazine, was the second coolest street in the world. You know, so we got all these monikers. It's funny because when I moved here... It's probably because I walk on Queen Street once in a while. They've seen me, you know. Yeah. I moved here in 1980. Yeah. That's when it moved upwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It started getting better because I said it was cool. Yeah, the world yeah. revolves around me, you well, know. I was like, a stroller <laughs> and a baby. Yeah, maybe that's why it's cool. How do you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, okay, so, I mean, to, to bring this to uh, to the topic of a song a little bit. No, no, but but it's connected yeah. with what, oh, yeah. what you uh, found important is because we're talking about kind of multiculturalism here or multiracialism if you want to call it are you aware of what Islam the religion of Islam teaches on that topic not really no are you aware that uh, Muslims at least uh, come from a wide variety of races oh, and backgrounds huge, you know that huge, huge. Yes, yeah. yes 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 yeah, yeah. you know and you can't well, put a label on all of them it's yeah cause, yeah because well, a terrorist has to be Muslim doesn't mean that all Muslims are terrorists yeah yeah, yeah it's exactly. the terrorist's fault not the Muslim's fault at yeah, all yeah yeah you know, yeah whatsoever yeah. you know so in the Quran, for example, like it says, Allah or God uh, created you, like meaning humankind, into nations and tribes, different nations and tribes, yeah. so that you may recognize one another. And so some of the commentators on the Quran will put in interpolated brackets, not that you should despise one another, not that you should 
hate one. That's not the reason God made black and white and Chinese and Japanese so that you can feud with one another, but it's so that you may recognize one another. And one of the ways that I personally understand that verse, one of the ways that I kind of illustrate that verse to myself is imagine in a multicultural city like Toronto, uh, if I told somebody, um, uh, if somebody who lives close to Trinity Bellwoods Park, I was talking to them and I said, yeah, I was talking to a nice gentleman there, uh, Bob, do you know Bob? They're going to be like, what Bob? I know five Bobs. I know six yeah. Robert. That's when it can be helpful to say that, oh, the the um, you know the Serbian Bob, the Nigerian Bob, black Bob, Chinese Bob, no white guy Bob with a white uh, a, a goatee or beard. So instead of using uh, the fact of different races or ethnicities as a as a uh, criterion of discrimination. It can be used as a form of like almost positive discrimination, identifying. Yeah. Because yeah. when the courier community, we refer to people for, well, as their bike type. Like uh, I have a breezer bike, so I was known as Breezer Bob. <laughs> and and ethnically, there's a black uh, um, what's his name, um, Dennis, and a white Dennis. We call him Black Dennis. You didn't call white Dennis, white Dennis. Yeah, we call yeah. Dennis. Did you see Dennis? Black Dennis? Yeah, black Dennis. And no one, he, he exactly. knew we called him that. Yeah. yeah. It's just to identify him, yeah. you know? And again, because the the Muslim community is also a multicultural community, and in, and in Toronto, naturally, you have people and immigrants from every part of the world. So the same thing applies to the Muslim community. So yeah. in my mosque, if, if someone were to ask me, hey, did you see Muhammad today? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's like Bob at the park, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Yeah, so this is where it really helps, like the... The Somali Muhammad, right? Yeah. That yeah. might not help much either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, 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 the Bosnian Muhammad or Pakistani Muhammad or Indian Gujarati Muhammad, all of these and designations that is the help. The rarer of the ones that you are so that you can oh, narrow it down to, oh, yeah, that guy. Exactly. You know? And obviously, you'd bring in other characteristics or attributes too, like the tall Somali yeah, Muhammad yeah, yeah, as yeah. opposed to the yeah, short yeah, yeah. Somali. So, we, so, this is part of our belief in theology, you can say, that God has created us in different races, ethnicities, as well as sizes and shapes and genders so that we can better identify one another, you know? So race is not something, because sometimes I feel that we might be going a little bit too far, like we're getting a little bit too sensitive yeah, and so cautious about things. Correct. Yeah. The pendulum swinging too far Exactly. The other way. So Islam, too for, sensitive. for so. me, the beauty of Islam is that it's not trying to ignore or wash away the fact of race. Yeah, like, yeah. you yeah. are white yeah. and I am brown. Yeah, exactly. It, it, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, all right. I'd have to, that, that's how I identify you, you know? Yeah. No, but I would be lying if I said, oh, I don't see white Bob, I just see no. Bob. Like, you know, you, 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 you know, you don't exist in a, in a, in a vacuum in that way right we don't exist in a vacuum that way if we're all blind exactly exactly identify through voice or tone then we would be voice yeah. discriminatory yeah, like exactly. baritone yeah. voice and high-pitched guy, voice you know? yeah yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Whereas right now we we don't discriminate on the basis of like your voice uh, pitch well, or sure what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That redneck from down south. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, uh... So yeah, I mean that's how Islam looks at you know different races and um, and this wasn't a later development. Like even within the life of the Prophet peace be upon him. Uh, Obviously, like he didn't have Chinese or Japanese disciples at that point, but even in the Arabian Peninsula, he had uh, black uh, Ethiopian followers um, and he had uh, a Romanized uh, follower, so someone who was brought up in the Byzantine territories. Yeah. He even spoke Latin. And the um, British have a term, uh, you prefer them as their um, um, job, like the miller, you know, the guy that right. they call him the miller, you know, yeah, yeah, John yeah, Miller. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, and then they get the name John Miller, and yes. they're Miller, or the you know the farmer, you know. Oh yeah, the, the farmer, and they, they British do that yeah. all the time. Yeah, you know? and the, actually the British even did that with uh, expatriate Indian communities, you know, oh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, like bonded workers in the West Indies and stuff. So yeah, it's 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 common that sometimes you, you get people from uh, from different former yeah, British my, colonies. My last name's Whalen, so most likely we had whalers somewhere in our past you know yeah like the whaler yeah yeah go the, the, the fishermen the yeah. whalers you know that's how we identify yeah, maybe you change the family name to bicycling or something like this now yeah 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 <laughs> well people do you biker know? biker yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. mike biker yeah. Yeah.